In this lecture, we are going to talk about univariate and multivariate regressions. So this is part one of regressions about univariates. The goals of this part is understanding the definition and goal of univariate regression, understand what is cost function, the visual representation, seeing some analytical solutions, and finally, seeing an example for univariate regression. All right, before uh, talking about univariate regression, let's just have uh, a simple definition of linear regression. Linear regression is a linear approach for modeling the relationship between a scalar response and some variables. We model this relation uh, using a linear prediction function. This is the function that you can see here. So in this function, theta sub zero and theta sub one are called the model parameters. And X values are the input data. So the model parameters are unknown and the goal of doing this univariate regression is to determine what are the values for these parameters. So a univariate linear regression is a model that uses a linear function to make predictions about the target value using a single feature. So what is our single feature here? It's X. So you only have one feature as the input. Y is the target value and theta sub zero and theta sub one or our uh, model uh, parameters. Note that X could be a vector, but still this is called a linear regression. X called the vector of features or data. Theta is the weight, a slope or the model parameters, and B is the intercept. We can also vectorize this equation uh, by making X a vector like one and X sub one, and also make theta a vector, theta sub zero, theta uh, sub one. And when we do that, we can represent our regression function in the vector format. So y is equal to vector x transpose multiplied by theta. So it's one x sub one, which is one by two multiplied by theta zero, theta one. This is equal to theta zero plus theta sub one x one. So again, as you can see here, even in regression, knowing linear algebra and linear structures is going to be essential and can help us to formulate the problem using vectors and matrices. It also helps us to translate the problem for the computer. When we want to program uh, in large scale, we can translate everything in terms of vectors and matrices and then uh, program. So uh, the cost function in linear regression also uh, is known as SSE or sum of squared errors. It is essential to adding up differences between the actual target values and the predicted values using the linear function for each of the data points in our data set. So formally, we can represent it this way. So this is a square root of the difference from the actual value and the predicted value. And this is, this is the square value of that. And then this is sum of all of this. So y sub i is the i's target value. And y sub theta is the prediction using the i's feature value. All right. Now let's take, uh, take a look at uh, the visual representation. Looking at the uh, cost function and what the linear regression look like, usually we have something like this. So we have a set of points that are our input data. And then we want to find the best uh, linear function, which its distance from all of these points is minimal. So we want to find the best fit among these points. The regression line uh, in gray represents the data points very well and is given by the parameters that minimizes the cost function. So we minimize the error or cost function. And then the output of this gives us theta zero and theta one. So theta zero and theta one are going to give us this regression function. Theta zero is here and theta one 
is the slope for this line. Geometrically speaking, the cost is also known as the error and simply uh, through the symmetric sum of uh, the distances between each point and the gray line. So this is going to be the difference between as, uh, as the sum of distances between each point and the gray line. So if I want to show this point like this, so let's call this D1, D sub two, D sub three, D sub four. So what we did, we tried to minimize some of the ice. So this line is the line that minimizes the distance to all of these given data points. All right. So solving the parameter that minimizes that error function or SSE uh, can be done in one of these two ways. One, we can use optimization by taking the derivatives with respect to each parameter, set these derivatives to zero and solve the parameter values that minimizes the error. If we do that, we are going to have this closed form solution. So you are given the values for X and Y. And what you need to do simply, first you find the value for theta one, and then you find the value for theta sub zero based on the value of theta one, as well as X and Y. As you can see here, X hat is the average of feature column and Y hat is the average of the target column. When we get to the example, you are going to see, uh, uh, to have a better sense of what do we mean by the average of feature column or the average of the target column. We also can vectorize the problem and use the analytical solution uh, that is given by the multivariate method. This can be only done uh, if the intercept parameter is a desired parameter. If not, then uh, we have to go through method one. So at this point, we are going to use the first method to solve one example. This is the example that we have here. So our input data is X, two, three, and six. And our target values are one, four, and seven. So using the equation that we just introduced in the previous slide, uh, first we are going to find theta one. So X bar, X hat is two plus three plus six divided by three, which is 11 by three. And y hat is one plus four plus seven divided by three, which is 12 by three. All right, now that we have these two values, we have to find this sigma. Let me do it here. So it's going to be, let's call this x1, x2, x3 voice of one, voice of two, voice of three. So it's going to be set of one is x1 minus x hat multiplied by y1 minus y hat plus x2 minus x hat multiplied by y2 minus y hat plus x3 minus x hat multiplied by y3 minus y hat. And then we divide it by sigma i from one to n. So x1 minus x hat square plus x2 minus x hat square plus x3 minus x hat square. So the result of this, if we insert all these values, as I said, x hat is going to be two plus three plus six divided by three y hat one plus four plus seven divided by three. The result of this is one, three, eight, five. And then we insert the value of theta one in the first one. So theta sub zero is y hat minus, this is 11 by three, 12 by three, four, four. Minus theta one x hat. So y hat is four minus theta one, 
multiplied by x uh, hat, which is 11 by 3, is 4 minus 1.385 multiplied by 11 by 3, which is minus 1077. So we have theta 0, theta 1, y is equal to theta 0 plus theta sub 1 x. So y is equal to minus 1.77 plus theta 1, 1.385x. All right, so this is uh, one example and uh, I'm going to try to show this visually as well. So let me erase all of this. All right, so let us show the points, X and Y. All right, so we are going to have X, Y. Minus one, one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, for x, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So when x is two, y is one. When x is three, y is four. And when x is six, y is seven. All right, we want to find the linear regression. So if you want to draw this function, y is equal to minus 1.77 plus 1.385x. If x is zero, y is somewhere here. If x is two, x is two, then y is about, uh, so 2.7, 2.8 minus one is 1.8. So if x is two, y is somewhere here. And if x is three, then we are going to have three and 1.2, 4.2, 2. y is about 3.2. So three, 3.2 is somewhere here. And when x is six, then y is 62.4, 8 8.4, 7.4. 7.4 is somewhere here. So this is going to be our line, our regression line. So uh, as you can see, the regression line is not necessarily upper or lower of any of these points. It can be upper than some of the points or lower than some of the points. There is not a general rule. And it tries to minimize the distance from each of these points to the line. So this is our linear regression for univariate scenario. So in this lecture, in part one of this lecture, we talked about univariate regression. We started with the definition. As you notice in the definition, we said we represented as y is equal to theta zero plus theta sub one x. We can also show this uh, by saying theta zero dot one plus theta one dot x. And this can be represented as one x multiplied by theta sub zero, theta sub one. So this way we are showing it in the vectorized format. Then uh, given a set of a vector for x and also a vector for y or target values, 
we uh, f we uh, identify the closed form solution to find theta sub zero and theta sub one. So as I mentioned uh, in in the solutions that we want to use, first we find theta sub one, which is i from one to n x i minus x hat multiplied by y i minus y hat divided by sigma x i minus x hat square i from one to n. And then after we found theta one, we replace it in this equation y hat minus theta one x hat. And what is x hat? x hat is x sub 1 plus x sub 2 plus x sub n divided by n. And same for y hat. y sub 1, y sub 2, y sub n divided by n. So these are the steps. Step 1, finding the averages for x and y. Step 2, finding theta sub 1. Step 3, finding theta sub 0. This is the closed form solution for the human variate regression.